Hey everybody, how are you? It's Jeff Gellman of Solid Canine Training with my What Would Jeff Do tip of the day. Tip number 16. You don't have to go for a walk for two more weeks. You know, we just finished up a, a, one of my dog training seminars in, um, in Florida. And I travel the world doing dog training seminars. And a lot of people that are struggling with a lot of reactivity from their dogs, some snottiness from their dogs, some selective listening from their dogs. What I told them to do is this, work on your foundational stuff around the house. In the house first, make your dog great. In your backyard, in your front yard, walk up and down your driveway. If you're struggling with a lot of reactivity issues, what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to go out into the street and walk around the neighborhood until you have a good level of um, respect from your dog. Respect, wrong word, but let's use that word anyway, respect. And I don't like it's like dominate your dog or anything like that, but your dog doesn't sometimes care about who you are, what you have to say, or any of the information that you're, you're, you're telling it. So what I want you to do is work on obedience commands, work on your leash handling skills, do it in the house, around the house, in your backyard if you have one, in your front yard if you have one, up and down your driveway. Remember, 45 minutes up and down your driveway or 45 minutes around your neighborhood right now, do up and down your driveway. That's what I want you to do. I want you to stay home and work your dog. I want you to get some good reliability. I want you to get from under your dog past zero and start gaining a little bit of momentum with your dog so your dog actually gives you a little bit of respect. Jeff Gelman, Solid Canine Training with my What Would Jeff Do? Dog Training Tip of the Day, tip number 16. You don't got to walk your dog for a couple more weeks. Mailed in love with you.